Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So today we are at the Foresight headquarters in Guildford near London and we are with European X Tour player and X, X European Tour player. X European Tour yep. player and now coach. Now yep. coach a wide variety of pretty prestigious yep. players across multiple tours I'm guessing. Yeah, a few of the lads listen to me, not yeah. all of them, but yeah, still play <laughs> a little bit as well. So this is Zane Scotland, for those of you who don't know, you might have seen him on Sky Sports, you might have seen him playing out in Pebble Beach. Zane is going to give me a little bit of a lesson today. We're gonna to have a look at some of my mechanics and my golf swing, some of my pitching as well, where I could improve and what could potentially help you guys as well. I would say get, get warmed up. You're probably pretty yeah. warm already, but just hit, just whack a few. Yeah, I'll just hit a few Get a little bit of club rounds. on ball, really. Get one might do. It's going to go out and grab. So with your game, mm -hmm. what's, the, what's the script? So I had four months off over the winter. So my swing is very inconsistent, right. which is not a bad thing because it means I can make changes pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. My ball strike in my arm plays tends to be pretty good. Um, yep. Driving depends on the day. The chipping and pitching and putting is below, well, chipping and pitching is very below par. Yep. Putting, again, depends on the day, really. Yeah. So if you went out, what would you kind of expect to shoot? Last summer, I was, because I mostly only get to play nine. I was going out playing nine and I was finishing under par 90% of the time. Right. Nowadays, I played the other day and shot four over through 18. I think the bit I'm struggling with is to know what I want my swing to look like. Obviously, right. there's millions of different ways you can swing mm. a golf club, but knowing what's the right way for me personally and my body yep. and stuff like that. And obviously, that's where you and Charlie so, come in. So I presume that you would like, you would look at your swing a fair yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then is, is there things that you kind of look for in your swing at the moment i'm just trying to get my kind of shoulder and hip uh playing in the backswing kind of on the same angles and, okay. and then the club on the same angles where i tend to get a little bit long and across the line and right. kind of my right elbow wants to come up a little bit yeah. and, and away um and then that tends to make me kind of drop the club down and straight in and then instead of turning kind of push in here yeah. and then what does that do to the ball flight i can still hit it well from yeah. that position but it tends to make it higher a bit right to left so what would you miss be probably at the moment left bit of a pull uh, yeah quite neutral curve or will it curve no pretty straight pretty straight yeah when you go and hit balls mm -hmm. hit eight ten twelve balls almost like with no ego and just kind of you just hit them and then you'd almost like just kind of narrate them like just notice what's happening, like, is it going, okay, it's going left, no curve, it's a good strike, okay, right, it's cutting right, maybe the strike was a bit back, mm. and start to add a bit of logic mm. into, like, what you should do, rather than yeah. what most of us do, is just whack, keep hitting balls and hit yeah. a good shot and go, yeah, yeah. I've got it now, that yeah, sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. yeah, go on. Pretty nice there? Yeah, I mean, tiny bit, tiny bit heavy, but okay. yeah. These are kind of the points that I would kind of, as part of a checklist really, so lumbar, butt on the wall, knee, head on the wall, so it would be like, say, one part of the checkpoint, so then going back, Top of the backswing there, that, that, those, those elements are pretty good. You've, like, you've wound the hips well, there's a bit of daylight between the legs, which I like to see. Bum send all, head and all, brilliant. So we're, happy, we're pretty happy with those positions. Come down, start down pretty good. Next checkpoint would really be left arm level to the ground. Again, pretty good. Butts on the wall, head on the wall, knees not broken the line. 
So again, it's, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty close to that. Your head's starting to back off just a tiny bit, but really, and then the legs are working really well. You see like the knee's kind of repositions where it was in terms of not kicking out too much. And that's why you've got a pretty good exit, to be fair. It's pretty clean. It's a little blurred, but you can kind of see like, the face angle's gonna be pretty good. Close to the spine angle. That's one element. But from a down the line point of view, that those bits are they're pretty good. I think there's a couple of things you're probably gonna see from uh, face on, which will probably help a little bit, but those elements are good. So the next piece I would look at would be, do you want to line up through the elbow plane? So you said about shots going to the right a little bit. I mean, that's barely under that plane. That's, that's pretty damn good that you can see where you're a good ball striker. There's not too much business. It almost tracks that line all the way, all the way down, doesn't it? Really well, exits well. Happy with that part. Next part I would look at would be where's the butt of the club enter the body on the way down. So red, and then where does it exit? Okay, so then we're seeing a little lower, so the, so the head's exiting. Let's just check that, a little lower. And then the hand exiting. So there's a, small, a kind of a small gap here, so which means you come, it's likely you come a little bit down across it. Yeah. You swung a bit more this way, which would likely match up with the fact that the ball's slightly left of the line. There's not, there's not a big curve on it, so, I mean, we're talking really small margins here, because I think if you were, you're a good player to begin with, so, and you're a good ball striker, so, it, it's in the small margins which make a difference. You know, if someone's a 20, 20 handicapper new to the game, there's going to be big disparities there. But they're small, but your miss is quite small. So you're like you, you have a, just like a slight pull. Yeah. So we, and we just, how do we shift that to the right? Those are the pieces which I would say, okay, loads of good in there. That was the one little piece which you could we could realign slightly. But a lot of that is really really good. So setup wise, pretty good. One thing that may help help the back and so forth would be you can you're allowed to turn that foot out a little bit more if you wanted to. But you have got a little bit of foot flare which I like, which is good because it gives a gives the hip somewhere to go, takes a bit of strain off the back. Then if you run this back, head pretty much stays in the circle, wound up nicely, bending well. A little bit of slide with the hips, which is good. Head's gone with it a little bit, not excessive though. Just start to back up, yeah, just slightly. I do it more with the driver as well. Right, okay. But yeah, the, this is all pretty tidy. It's, just, yeah. it's, it's more like small, it's more small things, which will make quite a bit of difference to you. So it's almost be like the backing up part would be, you could just keep moving around, couldn't you? Just a little bit better. But it's pretty good though. I think you could get a little wider at the top. Mm -hmm. I think the right arm slightly overflexed. So I think you could you could feel like you pushed away a bit yeah, more. Yeah, yeah. See the lines on your shirt here. If you can get so get that arm a little lower. So we spoke about rotation, getting the hips going, everything moving around. I mean, you can play really good golf from being up here. Yeah. There's just a bit more to do. Where it's up, if you just started to turn, you come out. Over the top, yeah. Yeah, so then it's almost like a little moment of having to do something, having to change something. Yeah. If I did this, and then it was kind of slightly, slightly flatter, that kind of, kind of looks okay. But if I started to have the left shoulder go down, all of a sudden that's down, it looks too steep, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. it? The opposite would be, okay, if I turn my, my shoulders level, and then got, and got that arm across there, yeah. that now looks way too flat. Yeah. But without moving my arms, and getting that shoulder tilt down a little bit, yeah. now okay. it doesn't look too flat. Yeah. And then the other part to that, just being down a bit more, there's more uh, want to be able to, to to then turn, turn properly. Makes it left. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All my swing flaws are far more exaggerated with the longer clubs, yeah. which is why I tend to be better with my wedges and yeah. shorter irons. Yeah. Because as soon as I get into like a driver and I start trying to turn, it's so hard. But to completely dumb it down, like yeah. your, your, your body action is really good. Yeah. It's just you've got a bit of arm lift. Yeah, yeah. So, and then you actually move nicely through the ball, like we, we drew, drew the line on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just track down that line. You didn't, you didn't go massively like this. No. Um, you didn't go that way. Yeah. You tracked it, tracked it, tracked it this way. So it'd almost be like going like back. Yeah, yeah. And then that nice line that you respect yeah, when you yeah. swing is gonna go. It's the best outcomes I've had. Yeah. With like, with, you know, with the tour players and they come in, right, and they go, I'm just driving really badly. Mm. Go, right, okay, you can work on this for driver, but you're only allowed to, you'd have to work on this move but you only have to chip it like 200 yards. Mm -hmm. And then when you're going to hit a full driver, mm -hmm. you just hit a full driver yeah, like, and let it seep yeah. in over two weeks. And then they come back two weeks later and go, I'm driving it unbelievable. 
Yeah, you're trying yeah. to make a swing change yeah. while trying to swing your driver 120 miles per hour and the ball's going like this and you're like, oh my God. Like. Good way to practice, yeah. if you work on a move, especially yeah. this to begin with, it's mm -hmm. kind of like shoulder to shoulder mm -hmm. to okay. begin with, just to, just to kind of grate, grate, grate that first part in. I'll put a club here. Okay. Control the environment, so you just move into that position yeah. and then we'll, we'll see if that changes the ball flight or the start okay. position. There we go. Starting just right. Yeah. Bit more strike on it. Yeah, definitely. Bit shallower. Nice. I mean, to the naked eye, it looks like you're like also rotating nicely through there. Could you almost feels back here? You're going like it. Yeah. Yeah. And it feels here. like those arms from there, they just stay there, and then I'm just yeah. holding that face square exactly. basically. Cool. So these are nice because these are now just starting just right at the line. So as a practice, it, the aim is to start it a bit right. Yeah. Finish it a bit right. Maybe move it a bit left. Just yeah. to just to like renegotiate your pattern, really. Yeah, definitely. Do you reckon you could swing, hit, hit it a bit further? I mean, that's going 155. See if you could hit like a more of a three quarter shot. Okay. Put a bit of speed on it. I'll you can still stop short. Yeah. Yeah, good. Really good. Nice that. Feels like coming through into impact, it's just so clean and easy. Yeah. And I, all I do is turn. Yeah. Let's do another one. Okay. And let's uh, hit, hit a full shot. Okay. Doing it. Just turn over there. Nice. It's kind of going three quarters, but I still like carrying like yeah. 185, going 195. What I could do is get a range of motion, yeah. which is maybe part of why you're putting pressure on your back is you try and get, you want to hit the ball far, yeah. so I've got to swing it longer. So then there's like, there's like an arm lift yeah. to get that range of motion. So what you want to do is keep that arm down so that'll feel a lot a lot shorter because yeah. you can't you can't you can't go any further without no this exactly part. yeah and then from and then the, the difference from there would be you know you said sometimes like it gets a bit level yeah well actually you get a bit more range of motion by this going down yeah yeah so i haven't gone like this yeah or like that yeah i've just gone to like level to the shoulders as i go down i can get a bit more turn yeah 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 but that feels tight and longer yeah, yeah rather yeah. than like that just feels yeah, like yeah. up loose, is loose. Yeah. I feel that's a super exaggeration. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, move, you move a lot better than that. Yeah, good. That felt really nice. But do that same backswing, maybe lower, and it starts coming through really slowly. So you, it would feel odd, but you would feel like you would go more yeah. that way, okay, rather than across. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. The main premise is you're gonna, you swing. You you actually got a good golf swing. Yeah. You got a, a good golf swing, that moves a little bit this way. Yeah. So it's just like we're gonna like somehow how we're gonna part of it the setup the arms. And then the next bit has been okay with as you turn, it will go under the shaft. Yeah. And then you could and, and then it, and then actually, it's just then respecting that and keeping that good golf swing, which is now pointed more. Yeah. Slightly yeah. more to the right. There you go. How's that strike? Uh, pretty clean, maybe yeah. a groove or two low. Okay. But the opposite to what it was before, yep. which was a little bit kind of yeah, down and heavy. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, good those. Would you ever hit one of these as like a little fairway finder, like if you're playing some links course yes, or something, you yeah. like a tight little... When I've been kind of using it, like, as yeah. in like I've been working something in with my driver, 100% yeah. would do that. Yeah. Because like it, like, because weirdly enough, like, cause you, you de-loft it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you can, you still keep rotated, so spin-off comes way down, so it actually becomes a nice little knuckle shot. Yeah, exactly, yeah. But if I haven't practiced it for a while, <laughs> I just don't do it. But but essentially, when you, when you are practicing, you can hit like 100 of these, because you know what, also, Pattern this way, it's a lot less stressful on the body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're just grooving a pattern. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean, that's, I mean, I've, because I've had back problems. Yeah. That's one thing that I've I've been able to make swing changes, and that's one part of it's been like be really committing to that yeah. like, because you can you can hit 200 of these. Yeah. You try and hit 200 full drivers. The next yeah. day you're in. Aches and pains. Nice. So anything starting just right the line is what almost what we want to yeah, see. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. While doing this.
That's what I think some of the best players in the world talk about when they want to hit it harder. They just think about turning more, don't they? Yeah. They don't think about yeah. their arms getting longer yeah, or exactly. anything like that. So guys, we just finished up. And well, Zane, do you want to run them through kind of the things we found and changed perhaps in my yeah. swing? So um, yeah, it was terrible. It was all over the place, <laughs> no I'm joking. Um, yeah, it was, um, it was good to see you got a really good move. Um, plenty of power, lots of, lots of good uh, technical pieces in there. And actually we, we spoke about small tweaks really, didn't we? So yeah. the first thing we were to do was to find out what's the pattern of shot that, that you played. Uh, and we actually found it was actually all pretty good. It was just, if anything, it was a slight pull, right? So mm -hmm. it didn't curve very much, it was a slight pull. So then the job was to go, okay, what are the pieces which we're gonna send it straighter, maybe start the ball to the right if we wanted it. And we kind of found that, okay, well, the body was moving pretty well um, for what it was been asked to do, but the, the arms were, were a little bit up. So we were able to, to shift those down a little bit, getting a bit more back on plane, if that's the thing. And uh, so, so you were able to then use the good mechanics that you've kind of got built in to like not have to, not have to manipulate quite as much. And we got some good stuff there, it was good. Yeah, definitely. It was very small tweaks mm. really, um, but made a huge difference yeah. in the end really. Started off kind of, I probably hit four or five shots, maybe 15, yeah. 20 yards left of target. And then we were getting them just missing three, four, five yards yeah. right at target. Yeah. So with very, very small tweaks. And I think that's the mark of a good coach really, is taking what you've already got, the good things in your game, and then knowing what, what things you could maybe change or tweak slightly to enhance those and to enhance performance as well. So massive, massive thanks to you, Zane, for coming out and uh, spending some time working on my game. And um, for those of you who don't know, check Zane out. You do a lot of coaching and coach, I'm guessing, quite a variety of players. So yep. um, over at the Wisley, I believe. So I'm a member at Wisley and then I coached it around at um, a place called Blexley, which is near Junction 6 on the M25. Um, also come down here to Foresight and use the studio, the really good studios here to get some, a lot of club data and you know, really get into the technique side of things. So, yeah. So for those of you who take your golf pretty seriously, go check Zane out. He is a great coach. I can personally vouch for that in the changes we've just made in this video. Thanks a lot, guys. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys soon.